A great start for the Florida State women at the 2016 ACC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Katya Vangsness won the women's hammer throw and heptathletes Melissa Marie Farrington and Greta Sadeko find themselves in second and third position heading into the final day of the heptathlon. She made sure today that on her very first throw that she came here to compete and that was a lifetime best, had five throws or season bests. So really, really liked the way she competed set the table oh my god i'm still shaking but it means so much because i've been here for three years now and i felt like i had a lot of uh, things go not going my way and now finally my senior year i won i pr'd i set a school record <sighs> yeah i'm just so overwhelmed <laughs> it's so good i'm extremely happy um katya has prepared so well this is a victory that we definitely wanted and uh you know, getting ready for regionals, she looks exactly where I need her to be. Personally, I'm really happy with how I've performed. I've I had a plan and so far three of the four events have gone to plan. Shot put let me down, just like indoors, but if I get to Eugene, I'll improve. Right now, Melissa and Greta are on pace for lifetime bests, top 10 or 12 in the country type performances on day one of the heptathlon. Events tomorrow that favor them, the long jump for both of them. Um, javelin, both okay. Greta, particularly good in, law, in the javelin. I was saying I'm going to kick this off so good, so I hope the girls can just continue on that. And yeah, I just wanted to do this for the team, and I really hope we can do well. Hopefully, me and Greta can one two and get more points for the team. And it's our home event, so hopefully, we can win it for the crowd. On the men's side, Zach Seddon and Michael Hall qualified for the 1500 meter final, and Dante Newberg finds himself in ninth place after several personal bests in the first day of the decathlon. My day one went pretty good overall. I started off with three strong PRs, and then I didn't jump my best to run a 400 the best, but asking for five real good events is hard for a day one. Plenty of opportunities tomorrow for scoring for the men. Zach Sutton in the steeple chase and the long jump as Stefan Britz is the number one seed in that. And of course, lots of qualifying opportunities for both the men and women as well. That'll wrap up our coverage from Mike Long Track for today, LaneHurtSeminoles.com.